So I'm still very, very hesitant to make a decision and I don't think I will have an answer until the maybe the night of, of whether or not I'm gonna buy the thousand packs. My mindset is totally different. Um, in the beginning, I thought it was a very good product for all the reasons I said. I thought it, the product would resell for more. I thought the product could bring in lots of views and you know, dare to dream the double black lotus would blow up any channel. So for me, as you know, somebody who wanted to do a box breaking company to really get my name out there, what better way than a, a video with maybe 10 million views for Double Black Lotus? Again, there's a chance that I pull nothing, I pull Double Pyrrolase, which also could get a lot of views, right? I mean, so it's kind of like a win-win in my mind. And in my opinion, you know, given my where I am economically, it's not like out of the realm of possibility for me to buy something just to enjoy even for myself, even if I didn't want to box break it. Then Brian Kibler made the video. I was very offended by Brian Kibler. Uh, the last time I remember him doing anything magic related was Carmageddon, which was a scam. Uh, he got paid, but I think Brian Kibler was the only one who got paid in that scam. And that was the influencer marketing and how little you know turnout was, even though they had all these great magic celebrities, if you will. None of them actually mattered because none of them could bring other people to play magic, which has always been my concern about magic is why I invest so much money in influencers when they categorically always have zero impact as to turnout as to the game. Nobody cares. No one's going to a convention to see a famous magic player. They simply are not. Now that famous magic player is just there. Hey, that's great. But no one's going to pay. They're going to pay to play magic. Okay. So then Rudy Chan is on his barrage and the one criticism I have is, you know, I can't really trust Rudy Chan. And, you know, I, I give you some examples. He said secret layers are bad. He himself owns more secret layers than anyone I know, right? He has the, he bought them on discount. He's got pallets of them. And the excuse that a lot of Rudy Lemmings have, oh, he bought them on discount. Yeah, that's great. I wish I could buy secret layers on discount. <laughs> So you told the lemmings not to buy secret layers and then you bought secret layers on discount. Okay, uh, the first of this in Monarch boxes, again, that was a total, total, I mean, that would be like, oh, the, the collector's edition of Brighter's War is going to quadruple in price today. No one would believe something like that. I don't know why Flesh and Blood players believe that the Monarch, what was Monarch, like a fifth or sixth set? It would be like, I mean, it's not even like the base set or the fossil or even jungle, right? So like, why would this set go up in price? I don't know. But and why would you start it off at 500? Today, this set on eBay sells for less than 100. First edition, same same thing. And then you have the old oh, repacks are bad. Let me sell you my repack. And my repack, one of the uh, most sad videos I've ever seen. He's got the taco cinematics. I'll, I'll show you the video. It's very funny. I just only got 40 subscribers, so maybe give him a subscribe. Um, the dude got like, his redemption card was literally five Rudy playmats. You could see like his voice crack. And I was like, oh God, that sucks, man. Uh, and that was in the magic slot. So like he, he was a magic player. He has magic videos, product videos on his channel. He's kind of like a small little channel doing what he wants to do. I appreciate that, you know, and you know, it's not easy to make magic videos and the one Rudy product that he bought, God, it was bad. It was, you know, I think he had like a counter of how much money he got, but he was using retail and he wasn't doing like shipping and stuff and then eBay fees. And uh, he, even using the counter, he made, he lost like $300, he lost half the money. And at the end he says, oh, this really looks like some type of MetaZoo promotional kit which it was, for him it was. It basically was a MetaZoo promotional kit. It didn't even have, you know, I had free packs of like really bad booster packs at the end. But I mean, I'll show the video a million times because I think it's relevant that this is what was happening in hindsight. And I, I said before, I want to see Card Kingdom come out and say, I'm not gonna buy this product. Because it doesn't matter what I think, it doesn't matter what Rudy Chan thinks or how many lines in the sand he's gonna draw. If Card Kingdom says, yep, we like the product, we're gonna buy it, we're gonna stock it, we're gonna carry the singles, we're gonna break it and carry the singles and we'll carry the boxes, we'll do some light breaking, we'll do all this stuff. 
Well, and it's over because the ability of Card Kingdom, Card Kingdom is not buying one of them, 10 of them, 100. They're going to buy several thousand of them. Because they have seven, they have, it's not tip atypical for them to spend 100, 200, even half a million dollars on product. Like Rudy, if Rudy's going to spend 2.6 million on Dungeons and Dragons, then imagine what Card Kingdom is spending on Dungeons and Dragons and products like that, Brothers War and so on, just because they have so much inventory. And now, you know, you, it's not just Card Kingdom. You, I worry about Dave and Adams. Dave and Adams has a box opening channel. They love opening expensive boxes. This is it. I worry about Whatnot. Whatnot has just given a bunch of influencers, Card Collected 2, Sports Card Investor, Mojo, Rob's Cards, $50,000 to buy just random cards to put them on Whatnot. You don't think Whatnot has contacted Post Malone and said, hey, if we can buy so many of these packs, would you open them for us and you get to keep them? I'm sure Whatnot, given the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars it spends a month on marketing expenses, is looking at this product as a marketing expense the same way I would be looking at the product. And more to the point, Rudy made in his video, like it's kind of crazy in these videos where he's trying to tell you not to buy them, He's like, oh, you, I could get millions of views if I open them and I could get, you know, uh, double my money back. And so I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That sounds good to me. <laughs> you know, get millions of views and double my money. Like free roll on the, a million. I, just, I mean, it's just like, I, I just look at it and I say, holy shit, man. Like the two reasons you should open it is because you get millions of views and you can double your money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what product is like Rudy's going to say, oh, a brother Ward going to double my money? No, I barely break even on that set, right? If I bought it. So anyway, my takeaway is, I don't know. I don't know. If, if a big company like Hard Kingdoms, David Adams, Channel Fireball, which is owned by eBay, so some eBay clamor, whatnot, if, if somebody takes draws a line in the sand and says, you know what, we should all band together and not buy it, at that level, not at the Rudy Timmy level, the Rudy Timmy level does not matter. You, you have to understand that Card Kingdom can buy more than the entire Timmy army can could even possibly hope of. They're like a legit company. <laughs> A Timmy army is just that. It's an army of Timmies with no money. Card Kingdom, eBay, which is again TCG player, which is Channel 5. I'll just, call it, I'll, just, I'll just call it eBay. Card Kingdom, eBay, Dave and Adams, whatnot. Any of these players can buy out the entire inventory. I mean, I would not be surprised if whatnot bought it out for their people to, you know, post Malone and so on, because they did a post Malone collab before. <sighs> And do you really want to be left out in the dust? So I know my point of view is not going to be viewed as positively as, oh, let's rally together Timmy's and we can do it. What I'm saying, the, the Timmy's rallying together don't just make, make a damn difference. Card Kingdom can buy more than every single Timmy. eBay can buy more than every single, these are, eBay is a billion dollar company as is whatnot. These are billion dollar companies. If Whatnot decides, hey, we really need to stock this product for our Post Malone collab, you don't think it's gonna sell out? You don't think it's gonna sell out? If uh, eBay decides, hey, you know what, would be really cool to have this product. You know, it's a lot of att attention, there's a lot of clicks, hey, we like it. David Adams, they do box breaks all the time. They love hitting the box big breaks. You don't think any one of these people are thinking about, hmm, if I hit a double Lotus, my brand in this space of Magic the Gathering, it just blows up overnight. Yeah, everyone's thinking the same thing. Even Rudy Chan. He gets it. He gets it. You see how many um, videos Open Boosters has from his Black Lotus opening. And that's Open Booster. No offense to Open Booster. He's a really nice guy, but it's not the Backyard Break. Now imagine the Backyard Break opens Double Black Lotus. What not would explode? You could easily have several hundred thousand. I mean, what is that worth to what not? It's like the what not triple LeBron James thing. It was broke by Backyard Breaks on what not. What is that worth in terms of marketing dollars? Infinite.
There, there's no even there's not even a calculation what it would be worth. Anyway, bye guys.